In the Amazon, there are many different types of wild animals that wander out of the jungles and into the cities. But the one that gets the highest points for cuteness is the sloth. Hey guys, Bill here. In this series, we've taken a look at some pretty scary creatures that crawl out of the jungle and get into the cities of Brazil's Amazon region. But when sloths show up, people don't get scared. They get all gushy and want to hug it. They're cute, they're cuddly, and they can bring a smile to almost anyone's face. But as much as people love sloths, the city is a dangerous place for these lovable little creatures. That's why the men and women of the BPA are always out rescuing these funny little guys and returning them to the wild. The BPA is a specialized military police unit that is in charge of protecting the flora and fauna of Brazil. Today we're with Lieutenant Macedo Chavez and his fellow soldiers who are responding to a call about a baby sloth that was found at the edge of town. The sloth turns out to be what they call here a benchinha. This three-toed member of the species is also known as a pale-throated sloth and is common to the area. The males usually grow up to about 22 inches tall and weigh around 13 pounds. The female grows to 30 inches and weighs up to 14 pounds. Lieutenant Macedo estimates this little sloth is no more than two months old, but has no idea how it got separated from its mother. One thing he does know is that this little critter will be a lot more comfortable with a pillow. Now the thing that really amazes me about sloths is how they've been able to survive for so long. I mean, how can such a docile animal not have been driven to extinction eons ago by the more aggressive animals in the rainforest? I mean, these little guys aren't even on the endangered species list. Their slowness is legendary. They can only go 6.5 feet per minute and they're completely non-aggressive. So like, what gives? Well, it turns out sloths have a few things going in their favor. Those extreme claws they have are not only lethal, but allow them to live up in the treetops where they can hang out for long periods of time. This keeps them out of reach of many predators like the jaguar. Their slowness actually helps them when they're up in the trees. It gives them a stealth-like invisibleness because they don't attract attention when they move that slow. Sloths also have the ability to turn their heads up to 270 degrees without moving their body. This makes it very hard for anything to sneak up on. It may not seem like much, but it all adds up to a pretty good defense system that's kept them going for millions of years. And as the soldiers of the BPA will tell you, it's never easy catching a sloth when it's up in the trees. Once they're in the hands of the BPA, the sloths are carefully taken back to headquarters. They are then housed and fed until they can be examined by a veterinarian. Once that's completed, they're returned to the wild whenever possible. Okay, now that leads me to the question of the day, which I'm gonna make as a multiple choice this time. What do you think is most dangerous for sloths in the city? Electric power lines? Other animals like dogs, cats, and snakes? Or is it people? Leave me your answer in the comments section below. Then head over to my blog and get my answer. I'll leave a link for that in the description box. 
Now, here's what's coming up next on Animal Soldiers. Cockfighting is a sport outlawed in many countries, including Brazil. But stopping people from participating in it can be difficult. Join us for a raid on a suspected cockfighting promoter and see if the BPA can uncover enough evidence to bust it.